Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's time to broadcast out the, the fall food plot. Um, we're gonna put the broadside blend, Eagle Seeds broadside blend, um, which has a, a mixture of radishes and turnips, um, um, wheat, and another cut type of soybean, a late, later season soybean. Uh, we're gonna broadcast that right into the Eagle Seed soybean plot right behind me. It's about a quarter acre. And um, the goal is that uh, when the first frost kills those beans, uh, the fall plot will be coming on. Uh, it's mid-August now, it's 17th of August. Uh, we had great rain yesterday, so our soil moisture is up. There's more rain broadcast or, or forecast for tonight and tomorrow. Um, so you put this out uh, 45 to 60 days uh, before first frost. When your soil moisture is good, uh, and when there's rain in the forecast, you can do it right before rain or in, even during the rain. Uh, this is what Dr. Grant Woods at Growing Deer TV teaches people to do. And I did this last year. It works great. We're going to do it again this year. Uh, it's, it's good advice. I suggest you follow it. Uh, we've had good success with it. Uh, so with that said, I'm going to open up that sack of beans, that, that sack of seeds, and uh, we'll get busy. I'm just going to walk through and broadcast those with a backpack spreader, um, uh, well, a shoulder spreader. Uh, right into those beans. It just you just broadcast it right in. Okay, there's the broadside fall forage blend. Buck monster forage wheat. Big buck forage soybeans. Purple top turnips. Trophy forage rape, and daikon radishes. That's what's in the bag, and uh, that's we're what's what we're going to load up into the spreader and put out there into the into the standing beans. Eagle Seeds Broadside Blend. So walking through waist-high to chest-high soybeans uh, with a broadcast spreader is an interesting challenge. These are not row crops, so the plants are literally everywhere, and I was trying not to hurt them, <laughs> but it went pretty good. This plot is full and thick and healthy, and it's taken on some pretty heavy deer browse. Notice how much these plants are being eaten on, and yet the field looks great. So there's a bunch of deer coming in here eating and the beans are holding up fabulous. So I had one 50 pound bag of Eagle Seeds Broadside Blend and that's supposed to be good for half an acre, and I'm doing a quarter acre here, and we want to overseed anyways. So it's working out about right. Uh, I went around the edges of the field and then worked my way in, and uh, about the time I got to the middle of the plot, I ran out of seeds and we were done. Mission accomplished. Well, there you go. We got our Eagle Seed broadside fall food plot broadcast into those beans right behind me. And uh, there's rain in the forecast. It'll be showing up here shortly. 
and uh, throughout the day tomorrow as well. And uh, hopefully that'll work out in our favor and everything will go the way we're wanting it to. Uh, I'll, I'll take more video later and, and let you know how that goes. Uh, anyways, uh, another task accomplished. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you got something out of it, uh, feel free to share it with a buddy. You might think about subscribing. That really does help us, by the way. Uh, ring the bell to be notified about the next one if you like. And uh, thanks for watching Home in the Sticks. We'll see you next time.